In Abacus CAE, you can use element edges and circular features to create paths for result extraction and plotting. Here are the results of a structural acoustic analysis of a truck cab. This steady state dynamic analysis was performed to analyze the response of the cab, the interior air, and the surrounding air when the cab mount points are loaded at a frequency of 110 Hz. First, I will create a few edge list paths. To begin selecting the path in the viewport, I can click either Add Before or Add After. I will define a path on the acoustic elements inside the truck, starting from the bottom of the windshield and continuing along the symmetry plane across the top of the truck and down the back. As you can see, it will take some time to define this path by individually selecting the element edges and using the flip option when necessary to get a consistent path direction. Because this particular path follows a feature edge, it is much more efficient to use the feature edge selection method. Notice that if I did not want the path to continue along the entire feature edge, I could select a node on the edge as the path endpoint. Once this first path definition is complete, I will create a similar path for the exterior air. One of the advantages of edge paths is that they are associated with specific underlying elements, so that I can create two paths on the same edge and ensure that one is only associated with the interior air and the other with the exterior air. The first segment in this path is not one I want to include, so I will remove the first item in the edge label list. To verify the uniqueness of these two paths, I will extract the acoustic pressure results for each path and then create an XY plot of the two curves. Next, I will create a path that runs up the side and across the top of the truck cab. To create this path, which does not follow a feature angle, I will use the by shortest distance selection method. I will select an edge on the cab side to start the path, and then I will select a node on the cab roof to end the path. Once the path definition is complete, I can create an XY plot of displacement up the side and across the top of the cab. Now I will define a circular path around the outside of the cab. With the three points on arc selection method, I can quickly create a circle around the outer edge of the acoustic mesh. I will specify an end angle of 235 degrees and a radius of 1.2. To create a slightly larger path, I can copy this arc and modify the new arc so that it has a radius of 1.5. After I extract the acoustic pressure results along these two paths using a normalized distance scale, the results can be compared in an XY plot. I will copy one of the circular paths to create a radial path that starts at the center of the cab and continues through the windshield and out to the exterior edge of the modeled air. Finally, I will create an XY plot of the acoustic pressure distribution along this radial path.